What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are getting ready to download and install View 2014 Personal Learning Edition. It's right here. So the link it will also be in the description below. So what you do once you get on here, you scroll down to the bottom. If you have an account, you click here. If you do not, then you create one. Okay, once you get on this page, you type in your first name, last name, email address, password, confirm password, and then type in the security code, and then you open your account. It's going to send you out an email that's going to let you know uh, that you've registered. You click on that to confirm your email address, and then your account is created. Once you do that, then it will send you out, uh, or you go down uh, inside of your account, which we have over here. Click on our name right here. And then we're able to scroll down and these are the personal learning editions and trial versions of the program. What we do is that we choose the view, <coughs> excuse me, we choose view right here. And then once you choose that, an email with information on how to download the personal learning edition of View 2014 has just been sent to your email address right here, which mine is blanked out right here. Uh, if you do not receive the email within 24 hours, please check your spam filters and so forth. So after you do that, then you will be able to download the program, which we have already done. And so uh, I've already got it downloaded and extracted it. If you're in Windows, it comes with a zip file and uh, Mac, uh, I reckon, however it unzips. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and choose setup. Okay, and then once the installer opens up, uh, we can see it's view 2014 PLE installer. We're going to click on next. And we're going to choose the view extreme 2014 PLE. We're going to click on next. And we're on 64-bit windows, so click on next. And yes, I agree, or no, I don't agree, and then basically cancel. So click on next, and then it's going to have your name and your company. Click on next, and then we have 3D Studio Max installed, so we're going to drop this down. We're going to choose 2013 is what I've got. We're going to browse our computer and go where we have it at, oops, Autodesk, 3D Studio Design. Click OK, and then click on next. And then we are going to actually put it here and oops here and then for the extra folder. So anyway, that's where I'm gonna have it installed, which is H E on View 2014 PLA in this one, same directory, except that it's gonna install the extras inside of an extra folder. Click on next. And then Mental Ray for 3D Studio Max 2013. We're going to leave that checked. We're going to leave this the way it is. Click on Next. And then V-Ray, we're going to leave uh, that. We're going to leave as is. I think you might be able to change that later. Click on Next. And now we're going to wait for the external installer to do what it has to do. Okay, and it is now uh, installing the program for us. So we will wait for this to complete. And we'll, we'll, while we're waiting, uh, the personal learning edition basically allows anybody to install the program and use it to learn how to use the program. Uh, you're not allowed to use it for any type of commercial use. You cannot sell your uh, your products that you make with it or your designs that you make with it uh, you're not allowed to make a movie for profit with it uh, for school so forth or uh, you just don't have the money to pay out for the program and the program is really expensive then you would use this program right here I mean unless you're actually going to be designing uh, making big money products this is the best way to go. Uh, it's better than going out and and cheating the system and getting it for free through some type of a crack site. Okay, uh, so what you do is that you just download and install this program. 
it integrates with what other 3D applications that you have, which you could see in the list that it showed, and uh, which I have 3D Studio Max. So I mean, it's it's perfect for what you need it for. And so uh, yeah, go ahead and go grab this. We are finished with the installation. And no, I don't want to put it on my desktop. Well, I'll drop it on my desktop, then I'll put it in my start menu. So yes, launch the program file. So let's go ahead and launch it and see what needs to be done. Let's go ahead and close out of that. So let's go ahead and put in our email address and our password. More options. And da -da -da. Click on activate. Congratulations, your product has been successfully activated, so that's good to go. Click on OK. Right now it's getting everything loaded for you, or for us in this case. If you already used another CG application, you can choose the corresponding user interface preset in the list below. So in ours, we're going to choose the 3D Studio Max. We're going to click OK. And there we go. It works perfect. So it's automatically going to pop this up uh, so that you basically let you know that you can go in and buy this version of it right here, which later on down the road, I would love to buy it. But right now, I just don't have that kind of money. So uh, we're just going to use the PLE. We're not going to buy it. So we're just going to use the PLE. All right. And so now this thing is set up just like it is in 3D Studio Max. So uh, I'm getting go. So all right, y'all have a rocking time. And uh, the link is going to be in the description below. So yeah, go download it and enjoy it and have fun. All right. Bye-bye.